Hey there, John Morris here, and in this video we're going to talk a little bit about conditionals and specifically uh, if, else, and then also the switch function. So uh, let's go ahead and dive right in. So if, else allows you to create a uh, condition in PHP, which you're going to do a lot of is, if, else in PHP. In fact, most of what you can do in PHP is going to revolve around these conditionals. So you're going to check to see if a certain condition is met, and if it is, then you're going to do one thing, and if it's not, you're going to do another thing. So, for example, let's create two variables, one called A, and we'll set it to a value of 1, and another B, and we'll also set it to a value of 1. And then we can create a conditional called, or that goes, looks like this, if A equals b then we're going to echo yes they're the same and let's go back make this double quotes can you always got to pay attention to them <laughs> them quotes right and then we're gonna do what's called else so if that condition is not true if a does not equal B then we're going to echo no they're not the same and we'll close it okay so as far as syntax you have if of course that starts off the function and then you have your parentheses and you have your condition in here, whatever it is, A equals B, it could be A equals 1, it could be whatever it is, um, you put it in here. Now when you're doing the equals, you need to put two equals like this, okay? If you put 1, it's always going to evaluate to true and it, it, no matter what, okay? So you always need to put two equals. If you want to say does not equal, you would do something like that. We're going to talk, talk a little bit more about operators later. Um, but typically what you're going to do is either equals or uh, not e does not equal or maybe greater than or greater than and equal or, and or equal to stuff like that okay so for now we'll go with equals okay so we know that a and b are the same so a does equal b so this should evaluate to true so if we come over here and we refresh this okay we have a syntax error on line 20 all right, so we go to line 20. Oh, because I didn't close it. Close your PHP. Come over here, refresh, and we said it should evaluate to true, and it does. We echo yes, they're the same. Okay, so that's a really simple example of how a conditional works. Now, if we come to B and we change it to 2, and we come back over here and we refresh, we get no, they're not the same because they're not. Okay, and of course, we can do greater than or equal to so if a is greater than or equal to b then it should evaluate to true which it's not so we should still get uh, no which we do right <clears throat> um, we can do less than oops Yes, it is because 1, A is less than B, 2, okay? So that's what you can do uh, with conditionals. And, of course, it doesn't have to just be integers. It could be, um, let's say, for example, you pull someone's first name from the database, from a database that you have for, uh, say, a social network or whatever. You could say if their name equals a specific name you're looking for, let's say John, then you could say echo their their name if it doesn't you don't echo anything or you could echo hey this is not the right person or another example might be um, age and required age so let's say their age is 15 and the required age is 18 so if a 
is greater than or equal to B, the required age. So if their age is equal, greater than or equal to the required age, then you can let them see whatever it is they need to see. Okay, So we can come back here and we get, yes, they're the same, which means it's true. So that's a practical example. Maybe you could do something based off age um, or, or whatever the case may be, whatever conditional that you might want to use. Okay, so that's how you use if else statements. Now, one thing to keep in mind, you can do it just like this as well. Get rid of the else and just have an if statement so that if whatever hap whatever's going on is true, then you come back over here. If it's true, then it shows up. And if it's not, then if it's not true, then you can have it so that nothing shows up. Okay, so um, you could do that as well. You can't use else by itself as well either. But um, <clears throat> so you can do that. Have the if just show up if if the condition is met and nothing show up. Um, I used to write code like this. <laughs> where I would do an else and just leave it blank because I thought I always had to put in the else, but you don't. So you can just leave it just like this. All right, so there's that. Um, then the next thing I wanna talk about is the switch function. So you may find a case where um, you are using uh, a bunch of if else statements in a row. So if, um, you know, let's say, do age and rage and let's say if their age is equal to the required age then uh, we'll say yes you're in and you may say else if it's not equal to or you may say else if and you may have another condition here that says if their age, let's do max age equals 30. Okay, so if age is greater than max age, then we're going to say Sorry, you're too old. Okay, for whatever reason. Okay, so um, you may have an else if statement like this, and you may have it where at 30 you say, hey, aren't you getting a little old? At 40 you say, hey, you're getting pretty close, and then at 50 you may say, hey, you're you're too old, sorry, not gonna work out or whatever. So, and this of course says yes, you're in. Um, so, oops, need to change that, that's why. So this should say no. Okay, see it, it doesn't show anything, right? Because they're within the, the parameters, okay? So now let's say we change this age to 35. We save it. We come back over here. Now they're gonna get the sorry you're too old. Okay, well, if you have a long string of if else statements, it can get a little it can get a little uh, tedious. Okay. So what you may do, you can use what's called a switch function. So instead of doing a long string, you can do switch like this and actually what you want to come up here and do is change this to true so that everything will evaluate you're evaluating whether the 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 condition you're going to set down here is true this is kind of a special use of switch but um, you can come in here and be like age if age is greater than the required age then we can come in here and we can echo Yes, you're in. And we have to put in this break statement to stop it. And then we can do uh, case. Let's actually just copy this. Come in here to case. 
and we can do your age is greater than the max age, then we're gonna say, sorry, you're too old. Okay, and then we can come in here. All right, so what this does is it gives you a simple way to, to, to create a switch where it'll switch through this. And the advantage of this is that uh, typically when you do this, you're actually going to end up with less code this way instead of a bunch of if else statements. Um, in this simple example, that's not true because it's it's really simple, but typically you will. Plus the switch is going to actually run faster. So your code will execute faster using switch. So, and then of course that's always important. So you notice it says, sorry, you're too old and that is because you'll notice our age is set to 35 and our max age is 30. So if we change this to 25 and we come back and we refresh, we get yes, you're in. Okay, so that's how you can use switch. You can also use switch, let's say, let's create a variable called number and it equals two, okay? We can come in here and put this as number and we do case zero. So if the number is zero, echo, it's zero. And case, it's one, echo, it's one. And we can come down here, copy this, in case it's in, in the situation where it's two, then we can put it's two. Okay, so you can see that uh, that is a lot cleaner and, and easier than doing a bunch of if-else statements. If you were to write this in a bunch of if-else statements, it would get pretty long and it would take a little longer to evaluate. So we can come up here and we get it's two, right? And if we come back and we change this to zero, we can come back, refresh, and we'll get it zero. Okay, so that's how you use the switch function. Um, and that's also how you use if else statements and else if and all that stuff. So um, that's gonna be something you're gonna use quite heavy. You'll definitely wanna get some practice with that uh, and work with it a little bit. Um, we'll be using it very heavily as we go throughout the course. So um, that's if else and switch. So hopefully that's helpful for you. And I'll talk to you again soon.